Hey guys, I'm Sony the Badger. And I'm Angie, Mama Badger, and we're the Badgers from the Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle on Facebook. And we also have a website, supportbikers.com. And I'm the crazy guy that came up with the world record poker run. Of 2021. Of 2021. <laughs> okay, so this video is video number... Six. Six. But it's actually day... Two. two. <laughs> it is August... No. We're still it's July. July 31st. July 31st. And we're headed from Maxwell's yes. area, Columbus, Georgia. To Little Rock. To Little Rock, Arkansas. It's hotter than Hades. And uh, we have a 500 and like 64, 64 mile said. day. So yeah. it's a long day to boot. And we've got a few pit stops we got to make along the way. A few? A few. A few. Good morning. Okay, day two. We're at Max. At, we did Maxwell's last night. We're at the hotel. We're in Columbus, Georgia. There's the crew. I guess real quick. There's not all of them. Obviously, there's not 140 riders, but um, a lot of them took off this morning. Blue bike and Doyle for three wheels. <laughs> they came to support us and and uh, yeah, wish us off. So nice of them to come and do that. Um, we are gonna mount up. It is, I don't know what time. We were supposed to leave at nine. It's definitely past nine o'clock. Um, we got, hey, hey, good morning guys. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Say world record poker ride. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm heading out to the bike because we need to be mounting up here. Um, my bike is broken. Uh, it's staying at Maxwell's, um, unfortunately. It, um, it's gonna be a, a bigger problem than we thought. Um, it's, so when they got in there, they're figuring out they need to pull the swing arm out. When they pull the swing arm out, that'll probably be more issues. And so instead what we're doing is I am going to take, and this man here that's been riding the Pan America, other John, we're gonna jump on the route today. We're gonna detour to his house. I'm gonna jump on one of his, there's Tim. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on one of his um, heritage, 2019 heritage, guys. I can't wait to, to show you. Oh, this is what I've been riding back here. The dad's Springer, isn't it beautiful? Um, so I'm gonna jump on his bike, put dad's bike in the trailer, and then we'll get back to the route and start off again. So long as I am in, Continuing me personally, it doesn't matter what bike I'm on, just as long as I'm doing the run um, and on a bike. So we're good. We're good here. There shouldn't be any problems with that. Thank goodness. Um, today's a long day, over 500 miles, and it's gonna probably take what we're thinking like 12 hours probably to get there. But we don't have to be there at a certain time. There is no card pool. Everybody just gets to their hotel, get their food. It doesn't matter. So. Um, luckily, we get to kind of take our time and not feel rushed. Get some sleep, and then next morning we'll get up. We got a, a, another, not huge, huge day, but it's still going to be a six hours, and it's going to be hills and curves and stuff. So, um, but it, we'll get to the get to Eureka Springs for that. So, all right. Well, we'll be checking in. I'm sure next gas stations or whatever keep you updated, and um, let's see what happens next. Good morning, Badger Nation. <laughs> day two. Hey, good morning, Here we Bill. go. <laughs> there you go. Two frozen water bottles inside my jacket. 
both of them melted within an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is Robert Truex, guys. He is one of our veterans that got picked to go on the ride with us. So we're very thankful that you got to come do this with us. Thank you, Chris Shine and the one of many veterans VMC for sponsoring me to go on this ride. Love you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Badger Nation for making this all happen. Love you all You're most welcome. of all. <laughs> all right. If you guys would all bow your heads, I would like to say a blessing on all of you. God, thank you all. God, on this day, day two of this ride, I would like you to bless all the bikes, every nut, bolt, chain, belt, every hand, heart, guide us all to our destination 564 miles away please guide us all safe make sure we reach our destination safe in your son's holy name amen amen, amen. let's do this shit josh how'd she do that <laughs> she cracked her screen <laughs> Only me, right? <laughs> Remember those camera problems we said Amy was having? Well, I think this was probably the time that Josh put her in GoPro jail. <laughs> okay, so we're heading out late as usual, and several people have already started heading to our Little final rock. destination for the night. That's right. And so we've got Mike and uh, Joe. So yep. we got Mike and Joe, their bikes. So they stopped off and doing some sightseeing, taking pictures. Mac loving his pink suitcase on the back. <laughs> and then our crew is actually taking that detour to go get Mama Badger's bike for the rest of the trip. Let's see what Mama Badger ends up riding. Guys, so dad's bike going back in the trailer. And other John has his own dealership. <laughs> He's like, which bike? Yeah. yeah. It's like, which bike you want? Air's cranking in which here. one? Is was there air in there? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was cold. Oh, man. He keeps them nice oh, and cold. You can, you can feel it right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So which one's the one he's talking about? This one here. Oh. This is what you call a toy room. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. All right, guys. This is what my badge was standing for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous. I, you know, I've been getting on, well, get somebody else's bike and, getting, you know, getting used to a bike and all. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do with your bike. Look at it. It's beautiful. I've been trying to figure this out since. I just transfer that. everything into that bag. Yeah. Those into the two side yeah. bags. Okay, so how are you going to carry that in and out of the hotel? Um, Walmart sacks, something. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, want want you guys are laughing. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm going to take a B. I want your Ziploc bag so that I can do like. <laughs> Yes. Such a thing called ghetto fabulous. <laughs> ghetto fabulous. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Is that your car? He said, No, that's not my car. I have a wife. That's our Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one badass wife too. Right. Tell you. Yeah. She has two, isn't she? Oh yeah. She's yeah. everywhere. I gotta go. I gotta get in the trailer. I need to take my glasses off and put my contacts in because this isn't working. Right back where it started in poor Charlotte. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm on the new bike. Oh, this thing's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing to fix, yes. Um, yep, I'm sitting in his garage. I'm on here. I'm still nervous, but this thing is freaking comfortable. Comfortable. This is gonna be this is gonna be great. Whoever's got the bets going. Yeah. Let's see. Is it Mama Badger end up? Alright guys, so we got her bike. 
We got back to our route and we're headed out. We had a couple of close calls on this day as well. Yeah. So traffic was completely backed up and the, the right far right lane was pretty open. So we all got in the right lane, we're cruising along, then traffic backs up and there is a on-ramp coming on. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're letting people in, we're letting people in and finally, you know, it's our turn and we're past where they come in and two flipping cars come up the right of way, not even the road, the road is no longer in existence to try to get in in front of us. And they almost hit Desi. This is our gas station stop. Um, there was an Arby's there and uh, that was our lunch stop. For the day. That was our only food for the day. Yeah, so you guys stay tuned and see what happens next. But I love that we have a picture of Kyle and he's eating Subway when we find out later, like his favorite thing is tacos. I mean, literally on YouTube, he is tacos for life. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> All I gotta say is Amy and Desiree wish too hard for rain. We got a video. <laughs> Listen to them laughing like crazy. I'll tell you why. I'm sorry, I couldn't make it. Sorry, I'm sorry. We prayed for rain. Yes. We got it. It's your fault. <laughs> it was hot and she prayed for this. Yeah. You guys see this? Yeah. <laughs> More than anything, I think I've got yeah. break of wind. Yeah. Like, I think we could have kept going. See the wind? I don't Just, know. I'm like, oh, that wind. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That, that wind. Yeah. 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 If you right think about there. it, wild hogs, they just had a fucking park. At least we got a trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they put the blinker on. Not going under the bridge. All right. Let's see. Oh, we didn't have There's another one coming. Yep, yep. Oh, yep. I think he's stopping about it. They're like, look at that bus that drove her standing in that trailer. He's stopping under the bridge. He's stopping, he's stopping, he's stopping too. too. So we've got Nerdy Badger, Joanna, and the truck. Say hi! Hi everybody! <laughs> We're dry! We're dry. Dry. I know. <laughs> Poor baby badger, she's in the truck. With Granny Ma Badger, Grandpa Badger. My mom, and you see baby badger in the back? Why are you in here? Huh? 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 Yeah. So when the baby badger's on, she's on a V-Rod. And um, you can see the wheels and all. <clears throat> so when we came around, we were switching from one highway to the other, going over an overpass, and um, her bike caught wind, and she's like, I felt like I was flying. And we saw, we were behind her going, holy crap, so. Once Desi took flight, did she get her astronaut wings? <laughs> <laughs> she freaked out, which is, and just pulled over, which is understandable. And if the wind, like I said, wasn't, oh, the wind wasn't there. We would just ride through this. I know that Toby said he's up, um, he just got into Mississippi and there's no rain there. A bottle of sunscreen goes shooting down the interstate. Okay. So I started checking everybody's trunk on the way, all the way down, and I seen a blue flag flying out of his trunk. <laughs> so I sat here and started watching it with his trunk sitting here. Was his blue underwear? That was, that uh, a blue flag? That's <laughs> 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 Oh! Did you guys see the sunscreen go bouncing down the road? No. When they stopped earlier? Uh -oh, we just What'd she say? She said there was a bunch of people uh, in the trailer on the side of the road stopped there long enough and y'all be arrested for human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> My hands? Oh, the gloves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when Tim loans me his gloves. Angie, what's she doing? Just wanting you to. What the heck is she doing? She she doing? Oil wood? <laughs> She's looking for whatever flew off the bike. No, it was it was all the way down there, like the beginning of the good off area. She's when she said that. Hey, I found my keys last week. <laughs> She's all the way down there now. 
Yeah, everyone, do you yeah. see the, the mother that for some reason decides that she's superhuman and wants to go find a pair of sunglasses? She's all the way down there. She's a dot, like a black dot no. over the top. Did you find them? Did you find them? Oh my them? gosh. No way. Okay, we found the sunglasses. I hope everybody else is on the on this um, adventure with us is safe and things are going good for you guys. We loaded up and we headed out. Um, and you heard in her video how she was hoping everybody was okay. Um, well, everybody wasn't okay. Everybody was okay. Not everybody's bike was okay. Yeah, so, mom and dad got the phone call um, yeah. on the road to our next gas station. So when we got to the gas station, that's when we got the word that uh, it was me and four of the Patriot Riders. Um, we had stopped under an overpass on I-40 um, to cool off because the heat index here was 109 degrees. Um, so we uh, we stopped under, over, under under an overpass, hung out there, and a semi truck literally came in and hit two of the bikes. Um, one of them had minor damage and still rideable. Uh, the other one was pretty much almost totaled. Um, so, but. Fortunately, again, like Angie said, we everyone's safe, everyone's fine. We were actually really, really fortunate that nobody got hurt with this whole incident. So here's a beautiful sunset picture. Angie's like, is that the sunrise? I was like, I don't think we did a single sunrise, but we saw every sunset. <laughs> well, you may think that the trip is over, but that was literally just Alabama. Right. <laughs> so now we hit Mississippi. Yep. So we got people rolling through and we had no, no idea what time that they rolled through Mississippi, but we finally got through Mississippi. Right. And we're it, right? We're the very end. We know we we're are. We're pretty sure we are. All right, guys, we're somewhere in Mississippi. Got to stop four, five, I don't know. This is our longest day, so I quit counting. Nobody else knows either. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we're stopping for gas. There is the trailer behind me. And then everybody is gassing up. And then we will continue on to Little Rock. So, we'll catch you later, guys. And it's getting darker and darker and darker. And we are in the middle of a cornfield with, I, I swear the road had to be like a car and a half wide. And there were like speed bumps every maybe... I don't know, 50 yards, yeah. you just go, 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 and you couldn't see them. Right. And it, it was across the entire road. It didn't matter yeah. where you were at in the road. Yeah. And so we're just out in the middle of nowhere cruising. Um, mom and dad, we had stopped for something and mom and dad and, and the trailers had already went past us. So, you know, they were going one way. We were like, all right, you know, we're just cruising. And then uh, as we're cruising along this back road, we see trailers. Yeah. <laughs> Parked on the side of the road. So um, dad had to take a bathroom break. So with him stopping to take a break, we caught up to him. Right. So we Now finished... we had them behind us. Yep. Um, and we're still out in the, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like again. when I say nowhere, I mean nowhere. You'll see. It, yeah. I'll show you. It's pitch dark. And. Then just all of a sudden, this opening, lights, and. and gas station. Gas station. Look who's here! Maybe Holy yeah. That's what we said when we saw you! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! There's other people out here in the right. middle of nowhere! There's no lights. Nothing. Okay. We're gonna go pick up Susie. You are. Okay. We're gonna go get her. So you do whatever you're gonna do. Follow them, lead them, or whatever you're gonna do. We are leaving. I need the directions on my phone then. I have no idea. I have no idea. You get the directions from. One of these two here, because I've been trying to get directions for two days. I have no directions. I have no navigation. I have no nothing. The woman that's in there, there's oh, nothing oh, like this. <laughs> we pulled over. Literally, I'm so glad I didn't pee then. Because I was like, what's happening? He gets out of the truck. He goes, I got to go And there's a crazy lady in the truck. I said, <laughs> I got a real crazy lady in the truck. You know how crazy it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
if I could, I'd go buy a bottle of Jack. Obviously, very because oh. she married you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're evicted. Oh yeah. Don't talk to the crazy lady about that. Don't talk to the crazy lady about that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Hey, how's this girl with? Hey, gorgeous. As you just saw, we, Alex and Lacey were at this gas station, and I cannot, I can't believe that there's anybody else on the road. Right. And when we saw them, I thought they were in tears because they seriously thought this was it for them. They, right. Alex's bike is not working not right. working at all right. and they're stuck at this gas station going what are we going to do right so he informs us that he can go maybe 60 miles per hour yep and so we put together this whole plan of how we're gonna get how him, we're gonna get to him yeah to to the hotel so they are very thankful and you have a story to tell about Oh, yeah. So we all filled up with gas. Well, let me go back. We all filled up with gas. We all go in to to go in and get food or go to the bathroom. The actual store is locked and closed. So you can still get gas, but you couldn't go into the place. So all the girls have to go to the bathroom. So literally, we're pulling the trailer around, and there is a potty break behind the trailer. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, for having the toilet paper. <laughs> Our camper had toilet paper. So <laughs> all these girls are all behind the trailer going to the bathroom. We all get filled up. We're just kind of hanging out, you know, catching our breath, getting ready for the next thing. And here comes this old dude um, on probably a 70s Harley Davidson Um I think the guy said he had at least half a million miles on this bike, but he pulls in. He's got a Nomad jacket on. I don't remember what club it was. He pulls in with like a helmet on his head, but it looked like the helmet, the the actual shell had been peeled off, and it was sitting sideways on this dude's head. And Un- unstrapped. Unstrapped. <laughs> you could just tell he was like old hardcore yeah. biker, cool dude. I mean, you know, most people would be a little intimidated with 20 bikes sitting there. He pulled right up to the gas pump like he owned well, the place. Well, Amanda was sitting there getting gas. And, and he uh, just kind of squeezed his way in. Like, there was no, no big deal. I know Amanda was talking to him. I mean, he ended yeah, up being a really cool. cool guy. It was just it's just it's funny, so funny that, you know, it just, that's that's the way it happened. Okay. So we get we get going. The plane is sixty miles per hour. We've got Joanna behind us in the truck and trailer. You saw that mom and dad had took off already to go get Susie, and we we pull up. Did you guys see the casino on the right? Like, oh, like yep. big casino right before the Mississippi Bridge. Well, we didn't get to see it in the daylight. <laughs> we right. saw it <laughs> in the evening. Um, so what you guys saw was this picture, and what we saw was this picture. Now, some people, on the other hand, they made it there with plenty of time for sightseeing. So here are some of the pictures of the stuff that we didn't see. Yeah, them getting to the hotel and their bikes and their signs and... Eating. I'm sure they ate dinner. Yeah. We did not. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm assuming these sightseeing pictures are from that day. They could be the next morning, but I'm assuming they're from that day. All right, Meanwhile, guys. Well, hang on. Oh. So the other piece to this is, so we've got A-Rod. A-Rod's bike will do 60. I am leading our entire pack at 60 miles an hour down, it's a six lane highway. Yeah. Um, the truck and trailer are behind us, but we can't go past 60. Speed limit I think is 70 or 75, and these semi trucks oh, are night. flying by us. Yeah, and it's scary. like midnight or yeah. later, um, and it was insane. Yeah. And then we pull off to go to the hotel, and what do we see? We see a minivan on fire. Yeah, a minivan is like... Yeah. So um, traffic backed up, people trying to get around this, um, the fire trucks and this minivan that's on, on fire, right? We just want to get to our hotel. <laughs> yes, and then we pull into the hotel. The security guard meets us, and he's... I mean, there are bikes, like, they have bikes just parked out everywhere, and he's like... You know, they didn't They didn't tell us this was happening. Somebody really dropped the ball. I don't know where to park you all. And I mean, it's like 1230. Yeah. We're like, oh, geez, really? But he, he, ha- 
had enough room. He, he got us all parked. Um, now the truck for mom and dad. Was a different story, yeah. but we're almost there. So um, then we get in, we get checked in, right? And they're like, to go to your room, you go down the elevator and then out the other side and there's your room. So you're going to see a video with everybody hysterically laughing. Like delirious. Well, one thing, it's like 1.30 in the morning. We're exhausted. But we go down. The doors open. And there's a guy with a linen basket there. And we're like, this looks like the floor where, you know, all the linens and laundry and stuff yeah, are done. The utility floor. To be. And so we're like, are our rooms here? And this gentleman did not, like, speak good English. So he was like, no. So then we go back up, and as you can see in the video, I'm like, dude, where's our room? We did that three times. Finally, we get down there, and we're like, room, blah, 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 you heard it. And the guy's like, yeah, it's back here. So we were so exhausted. Um, and if you notice, we're all carrying our own freaking bags, too. So there were no carts. Timestamp, 137 on day three. And then mom and dad came in at like 2.30. Um, and they didn't have a cart. So they went and picked up Susie and her trash bags full of, of clothes, poor thing. Got her to her hotel. Yep. And then and got to our, hotel. to our hotel. And then um, from there, they didn't have, they couldn't haul their stuff. Nope. So this nice security guard got them a linen basket or something yeah. so that they could throw it in. He said, just keep it in your room and use it in the morning. So, so at least say, they got some kind of car. Right. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I mean, that was the end of day two or the start of day three. I mean, how do you, that was the end of day two and the start of day three because it's 1.37 in the morning. We are officially into day three. Yep. Kick stands up at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. That's what we always said. 8 a.m. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like one something in the morning. <laughs> Where now? I'm crying. I'm crying. You're crying. I'm crying. Oh, no, 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 Right there on the left hand. Okay. That was a bad tour. I won't bring it up. Finally. I had her. I had her. How do you work this damn thing? There it is. It went. It's blinking green. Oh, babe, they're going to wake up everybody. Yep. You know what he should? They should. Bring. <laughs> it's, it's too dark here. Where's the lights? Where's the freaking light? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Your okay. asses won't get woke up we if you bring bed, the. Huh? If you bring. Oh my gosh, we got a king bed instead of two queens. Great. Bring the freaking carts back to the lobby. <laughs> Don't hold them in your room. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> it was going to be a short day, so look for video number seven where we're headed to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Yes, and this day is a short day, but it's got some more challenging riding, like the pig yeah. trail, and there's some people that have never been on curves. So, um, flatlanders as, as people call this. Right. <laughs> so anyway, it was a challenge um, for sure. I think there was some rain that day. I mean, some um, got rain, some didn't. That's right. Um, we uh oh yeah well, semi truck wait for the semi truck story guys um that was the, that was this next you day got too footage on that i do yeah <laughs> it's crazy okay so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel try right. ring the dingy dingy <laughs> so you get notified every time we put a new video out give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to leave us your your comments below, please. We try to answer them all. Yeah, and remember, okay. guys, it's not about the destination. Nope. It's all about the ride.
And what a crazy ride it was. <laughs> and it's just begun. See ya. See ya. Thank you to the Sunshine State Biker Lawyers. And thank you to all these wonderful sponsors. We've got Nelson Rig. We've got Howard Howland. He's a YouTuber. We've got, we got Slang by Death. They're with us on the trip too. We've got the Stunt Marshal, World's Greatest Pro Wrestling Champion, Professional Monkey, South Georgia Scuba Academy. He's on the trip with us too. Tobacco Motorwear Company. You guys have seen the ads where they slide down the street. Thank you to them. Up here we got the Stevie Bows, but Stevie's with us. <laughs> ah. Bag Custom Cycles. Thank you, thank you. Bikerdown.org. That's who we're raising money for on this trip. True Payroll out of Marco Island, Florida. Motorcycle Showcase. Michael Rizzo, he's on the trip. Baggers and Brews, part of my crew. We got Mandy the Machine, she's on the trip with us. We got Renro Therapy, last I heard she is in Missouri. Rever, guys, we're using Rever. That's our GPS um, app that we're using right now to track everything.